Michael, not of the crackdown of this violent gang blamed for the murder of Lissandra Guzman Feliz. The same gang is now linked to two violent stabbing attacks. It is a Dominican gang the NYPD has been watching and fighting for years. Here's Iowa News reporter NJ Burkett. In Tremont and Norwood, the streets are simmering and the NYPD is cracking down. Pick up a gun, pick up a machete. Rob an elderly victim walking home from the train is a one-way ticket to prison. The vicious murder of Lissandro Guzman, mistaken by his killers for a rival gang member, is only the latest in a series of disturbingly brazen attacks. Days earlier, a 14-year-old boy was beaten and stabbed 16 times in broad daylight in full view of passing motorists on the Bronx River Parkway. Some of the attackers using machetes. Others are believed responsible for robbing a middle-aged man on East 75th Street on the Upper East Side. Investigators say it's all the work of a violent street gang known as the Trinitarios. Young Dominicans, many just teenagers. Federal agents rounded up dozens of the Trinitarios in 2009, but experts say the gang is making a comeback. If you take out the main, um, the alpha personalities in each gang, if you don't stay on it, you're go they're going to come back on you. Others will rise up. Police will step up patrols and intensify intelligence gathering. Chief Boyce says locking up the new leaders of the Trinitarios is the only way to curb the violence. I've learned that investigations are the key to bringing these things down. And that could take several months. Nine arrested so far between the two machete attacks, and police say more arrests are expected. 